mountain. You're really intimidated right now, aren't you? If I do a lat spread, you have to listen to what I have to say. I don't make the rules, you know what? It's, it's, it's the bodybuilding people make the rules. I don't, I don't make the rules. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about workouts that don't take as long as it takes an iceberg to melt. And first things first, before I even start this video, I do have an adjoining workout vlog to this video on Rumble and I'll put that link in the description so you can watch that after you watch this enlightening video. So there's always the eternal debate in how intense you should train. Like how much volume, how much intensity, uh, you know, uh, should you work out for 20,000 hours straight and uh, don't sleep for a thousand years and then finally take a day of rest after that? Do you have trouble getting to sleep at night? Do you toss and turn and no matter what position you get into, you just can't get a good night's sleep? Well, here at Natural Glam Bodybuilding, we have a solution for you. It's called the rock bed. If you want a good night's sleep, you have to sleep like a rock. And the best way to sleep like a rock is to sleep with rocks. Uh, it's so relaxing. Send $4,999,000 to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and you can have a rock bed for yourself. Or should you just do one set and just stimulate just an eensy weensy bit and then somehow build muscle? Well, what I've found is that I've I vary it quite a bit. Sometimes I'll do a higher volume workout where I feel like I've really just beat the crap out of the muscle where it just cannot do anything more. And I do feel that once in a while doing this is a great way to stimulate the body and to keep it honest, right? Because sometimes your body needs to be punished, right? Maybe it's not behaving, it needs to be put in line, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes a big workout like that can be a way of doing that. <laughs> but then at the same time, I find I get a tremendous benefit from just stimulating the body lightly, right? Which, is, goes, which goes in alignment with my callus method, which is basically the two-day split or even full body workouts where I'm doing not as much volume. So a lot of times I'll go in the gym, I'll do three or four sets of something, and then I'll move on to another body part, do two or three sets of something, and then another body part, two or three sets. I don't necessarily get stuck on having to stimulate into a high volume sort of approach, right? There's a spider web in front of my face. It's really strange. It was, it's messed me up. I thought I had like cataracts there for a second. That was weird. So that said, sometimes you'll find that if you get workouts in that are not necessarily like absolutely dramatic. stimulate the muscle where you're doing like two or three sets of 10 or 15 reps to failure then you're doing another body part for two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps to failure and then and then maybe another body part or maybe just a couple and then you leave the gym you're better off i found to do more workouts like that instead of get stuck in saying it's all or nothing like i got to do 20 sets or nothing because sometimes the cumulative stimulation cumulative cumulative right the cumulative stimulation will increase the body's muscle mass more so than just pounding it to death and then having to take you know 20 days off or 10 days off or or basically feeling like you hit overtraining. and i had a few guys in the comments talk about this where they found that if they do a lot of frequency training but they make sure they don't go too extreme or too aggressive in their individual workouts it seems like the body slowly starts to adapt whereas when they put too much stimulus on the body it gets overwhelmed and it cannot adapt so this is a way of looking at it, right? If you get a scratch, easy to heal from, but if you cut your limb off or cut your arm off, pretty tough to heal from that. So it's the same thing, and I do believe that there are people out there that have a certain tolerance to stimulation, and if you overstimulate, what happens is the body almost resists and hits overtraining really quickly. So again, diet, sleep, stress, all these things are gonna be factors that will also have to be taken into account, but for sure, if you're noticing that your body just doesn't seem to recover or never seems to, to get past a certain plateau, possibly the subtle approach is what you need to do. The subtle approach and slowly work your way up, but don't overwhelm the body with massive amounts of volume at once. It's definitely something to try.
This just in. Some people on YouTube think that I should only express opinions in which they believe in. But at the same time, they believe that they should be free to tell me what my opinion should be. Mount. So yeah, I'm gonna have a workout vlog in the description right now. Click that and it'll take you to Rumble and you can see that. And if you don't wanna go see it, well, screw you. But I had to put videos up on Rumble because when I do too many videos and uploads on YouTube, then it stops promoting the other video I just uploaded. So this is a way of, it's a win-win. You get double the content, double the fun, double the mountain. Mountain. So I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalglantbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Natural land.